the show is sponsored by the Office of Champagne USA, asking you to join the growing movement of consumers demanding truth and labeling in wine. Go to www.champagne.us to sign the petition. Hi, it's Eric and Jay. Uh, great pickers extraordinaire. We're out here in the vineyard. We're about to dig into some Pinot Noir. We're going to cut everything we can that looks good without cutting our fingers. Have you ever harvested uh, grapes before? This will be a first for me. I've never done this. Uh, me too, and I... I'm kind of afraid, like, someone will go, oh, you cut my cluster or something <laughs> like that, you know? What's kind of interesting about this is, okay, the grapes we're picking, I mean, mm -hmm. eventually they're going to get crushed and then made into wine, and someone's going to drink the grapes you know, that we've harvested. Well, I'm, I'm convinced that I'll have all bunch rot out of my grapes, so that's going to be a damn fine bottle of wine. We put uh, uh, grapes in little buckets, and as soon as you have, uh, as your ba bucket is full, uh, you cry panier, mm -hmm. bucket, and one people come with a large bucket, and uh, we, we try to cut more, so more and more grapes. So you have a secateur, <laughs> and you can cut. You, you cut all the grapes you see, and this year, uh, for example, these grapes is a good grapes, and you can see some grapes with this kind of pips uh, because um, it's mildew, uh, a daisy. It's not a problem when you have some pips in a, a big grapes like this, but when you see a grapes with too many uh, bad pips like uh, this, you don't cut these grapes. Huh? We, we try to, to choose the best grapes for the quality. Easy, you try to cut all the grapes you want to eat. If you see some grapes and it's for you, uh, it's bad to eat, you don't cut these grapes. It's very pleasant to produce the grapes and after to uh, produce champagne with the grapes you have mm. produced yourself. I came with you. Thank you. Uh, no, it's better to put on the ground now. Ah, the mother -love. How's it going there, Jay? Good, good deal, man. You want to just like eat them. Yeah. What do you find in there, Eric? Isabel? Stuff I don't yeah. want. Bubbles. Stuff uh, I'm not willing to no, eat. No see, here's a bad one. Uh, also covered in spider web then. Okay, see? That's, that's... That's a bad cluster, but you don't have to toss it. I mean, you don't have to throw it away. You can kind of trim, trim, and just take part of it and just toss it on the ground because you don't want to leave it on the vine. That's a bad one. I wouldn't keep any of that. Just see that throughout the whole cluster. Just nothing, you know. You could save, so it's just not worth it. Well, what do you think? Is that a panier? Pass it over. Uh, oh. Oh, no more? <laughs> <laughs> ah, I didn't know I'd get an empty one. Keep going, yeah, that's, that's the problem. That's the... How do you find these pickers? I mean, are they the same people every year, or? Uh, it's according to the house. Here, they try to have the same pickers for every mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. uh, but as most of the, the, the workers in the region are, in fact, students or uh, sometimes travelers come from there, from the picking, yeah. so, in most houses, there is no stability in the team. It's mm. the people that they can find. I did good. I did good. Didn't cut myself. Everything worked fine. You want to be a picker next oh, year? No, I'm done. I think this is uh, this is about it. I'd rather be a drinker. We uh, put the big baskets on the scale and. Immediately we have 4,000 kilos of grapes we can put in this wine press. Uh, who wants to put uh, grapes into the wine press? You? You, huh? you try? Thank you. 
50 kilo per case. We are finished to press and you'll see the remainder of the pressing. We have extracted all the juice and now we have the remainder. He picks inside the wine press and when the grape or the pips is green, the pressure is not enough harder to pick the pips. This quality is uh, the ground reserve. Uh, the ground reserve is made with equal part of the three varieties of grapes. And the particularity for the Chardonnay, we keep all Chardonnay in oak cask. And this quality stay five years in our cellars. <laughs> Uh, you have worked hard. <laughs> <laughs>